So in order to know this direct experience of oneself as the divine, not separate from God, one must have the willingness to give up one's idea, ideas about that how life should be, what should be happening. And to surrender that to this higher intelligence. It means giving up control. It means having the willingness to feel, to deeply feel whatever wants and needs to be felt in the body. It means having the willingness to give up interest in any thought that is unconscious in its nature. Any thought that's not aligned with the higher truth. And as you start to observe your thoughts, you'll become more aware which thoughts are infused with a higher consciousness and which thoughts are creating suffering for you. They're creating a sense of separation. They're cutting you off from the recognition that you are one with God. You are one with the divine. With the willingness to feel, the heart naturally begins to open. And as it opens, it opens to its true nature, it opens to love. And that love flows through. Now, in order to support it to open, you can direct your heart attention to the divine itself. And fall in love with that. Whatever form works for you, doesn't matter if it's Jesus, if it's Buddha, if it's Muhammad, if it's Ramana Maharshi. Use that symbol to let your heart open to it, to pray for your heart to open to pray, to ask for the divine to penetrate through your being, crack open your heart. Ask for this opening that, that shows to this divine intelligence your willingness. And that divine intelligence is here, ready. The moment that you're ready, the moment you're ready to say, I give everything to you. Okay. I trust you. What do you know I need? I allow it to come. And I say yes to it with humility. There is no longer a conceptual me that's directing my life. There is only now a deeper me awareness, aware of how life is moving, how life is experienced in this moment. There is no resistance. It's a resistance to the movements and the mental beliefs and ideas about how the movement should be that causes suffering. 